Jackson and I will be in the executive dining room. We are not to be disturbed. Come on, number one. I'll watch AJ tonight. Uh... Oh, he just cries like that when he needs to be fed. And burped, and changed, and held, and exercised, and bathed, and oiled, and rocked to sleep to Hindi lullabies. Besides, every time I look at AJ, I'm reminded that he has no mother and I have no mate. Without a woman in our lives, AJ and I will never truly be a family. That's terrible, sir. Is there anything I can do to help? Huh. I guess one of us should wonder who that could be at this hour. You want to do it? No, no, you've already started. Smith, I need you to come with me. I'm going on a dangerous mission, and I need my number one man. What, what is that? What, what, what is that noise? What is that? A.J. Bullock, I'm babysitting. Look, I don't have time for you right now. I'm busy. Busy? I was here first. <laughs> Roger, what the hell? Isn't it obvious? Sibling rivalry. Roger's jealous of the new baby in the house, so he's acting out. I count that. I came up with a great nickname for Jackson today. Jackson Brown Nose. It's a little dated, but I think people will get it. Mmm, I hope so. Well, unfortunately, everyone here is tall and gorgeous. <sighs> True. I guess I'll just have to settle for some tight white meat. Excuse me? Are you from Tennessee? Because you're the only ten I see. Oh, I've been up with that baby five nights in a row. If I have to sit through one more Carson Daly... Oh, I get it. You're friends with Dave Navarro. I have no choice. His night nurse quit when she found the doll I made out of her drain hair. Perhaps you could babysit Francine. Me? That's a great idea. You're adopted, the baby's adopted. You have so much to talk about. <sighs> I can only imagine the monstrous things those Sunni insurgents are doing to my poor, sweet Miriam. I'm afraid she's doomed to die alone. As am I. <sighs> You're right. It would be easier for all of us if I left him here during the day, too. Cheerio, Junior. Backskate! Stan, how can you let him do this to me? Like, that's really gonna make me... Did you just poop? Oh, no, that's her. Smith here. Dan. That's it. His wife. Sometimes the best solution is the easiest. Bullock's wife is being held by a vicious gang of Islamic terrorists. Oh, hello, Jackson. You look terrible. <laughs> Jackson! Forget him, he's a jerk! I'm... I'm a mommy? I will name him Muhammad. What? It's a pretty name. This is Coco. Got any cigarettes? Uh, no. Then go suck it. Isn't she great? We've become intimate rather quickly. In fact, she's already moved into my house. Her? Really? Do great out here! I can't believe Stan rescued my wife. Yes, and AJ's going home with his new mommy. Now I can practice exclamations for when Stan and I get to the lake. She keeps using ketchup packets as foot grenades. It's probably just jet lag. AJ and Miriam are Bullock's family. He has to take them back. He will, just as soon as Miriam gets back to her old self. Where's AJ? This was taped to the refrigerator. I've taken your baby hostage, U.S. out of Middle East. Oh, my God. Where did she take him? Is that Roger's French poster of the Wizard of Oz? Miriam! Ah! Die, American <laughs> infidel! <laughs> What the hell happened to her? Well, after three years in captivity, she, uh, she kind of went sheer. Dickie Bun, is it really you? It's really me. Oh, I can't believe it. We're finally going to be rid of Bullock's family. See? Everything's going to be okay. You mean it? Oh, Stan, thank you! I wonder if I'm a top or a bottom. If I had to guess, I'd say bottom. 
Uh, why don't you get on all fours and grease yourself up like a pig? I'm going to go get some firewood. And just like that, I'm gay. Stan, what about our weekend getaway? I'm sorry, but Bullock doesn't want her to be alone on Valentine's Day. I mean, what was I supposed to say? I thought you'd be happy. It's not fair. I want my little bro-bro. L-O-V-E, love. Because you love me so much, you wanted to be alone with me all weekend. Your turn. I pass. Well, time to get more firewood. You've gone for firewood every ten minutes. Are you okay? You seem distracted. No. This weekend is all about you. I am here for you. Gotta go. I'm going home. Ah! He started it. So you were going to drown him in the lake? Well, how do you kill babies? Shut up. This whole situation is out of control. M M Miriam, p p put the gun down. I'm, I'm sorry. Can't we, can't we start again? Sure, let's start at the beginning. Like when you got down on one knee and proposed. Ah! <sighs> Fine. Something with Matthew Perry. Got it. Fools rush in. Something good. Got it. Nothing. Time for a myth. <gasps> Someone took my baby. Stan, I appreciate the gesture, but for God's sake, the man needs you. You can't say no to him. Wow. Is that how I used to sound? What a selfish jerk I've been. I... <laughs> You're gonna laugh. This was supposed to be our romantic weekend! You idiot! Bullock's mistress is in cabin number two. If they go there, then Miriam will find out about Coco. Exactly. Bullock will be caught, he'll have to dump Coco, and she'll be out of your life forever. Wow, Roger, I'm impressed. Coco! You know this woman? Oh, God, is this your wife? No wonder you're looking for some yummy on the side. What?! Screw this. I'm gonna go back to being the prettiest girl in Ohio. No, quite right. I, I'm sure you're busy with all the films and harp seals. Our little girl's going to look at a four-year college. Isn't this exciting, Stan? My little girl's growing up. Look at her. Oh, Daddy. Not you, Caitlin. Okay. Uh Whoa, that's my dad's study. No one's allowed in there. Not even your dad? <coughs> Remember I told you being stupid was going to start getting painful? We're going to burn it. Hey, boys. What's crack a lacking? Nothing. Let's do stuff. Sorry, the family's out of town and I'm not supposed to have people over. Uh. Great, that could take forever. I'm going to the newsstand. In the terminal? Stan, they won't let you. Once you get off, you can't get back on. Can't I? You're talking to the guy who got off and back on prescription painkillers four times. You really think he's ready, Stan? Of course he is. He's never given us any reason not to trust him. There was that one time I thought he got into my Playboys, but it turned out I'd just been sleep debating. Don't worry, Mom. When you get back, the house will be exactly as you left it. Why? At least mine couldn't. Well, I... I guess we could try it. All right, Steve's on board. That's awesome. Uh, oh, whoa. Everything gives me a rager lately. Right now, you're being your mom because you have a huge vagina. Get in here. Yeah! Let's get crazy! <laughs> Every time, stuck behind the crying baby. Miss, can you control your little girl because I... Oh, you are not telling me how to raise my child. You do not tell this woman how to raise her child. You do not tell her how to raise me. Mm. This is a big weekend for you, kiddo. As a symbol of our trust, I'm giving you this honorary key. It's an exact replica of our house key. I also want you to have this house key, which is an exact replica of the honorary key, except with the added benefit of functioning as a house key. The president's been killed. 
My God. So, what's our next move, Mr. President? There's going to be some changes around here. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. I just wanted to tell you that your little girl is adorable. My little girl? Oh, thank you. Yep, she's our angel. <laughs> but I think we got a bonus. There's a sorority house. Hmm, doesn't sound familiar. Now, I recall a conversation about me going to the newsstand for a John Grisham novel. You recommended Pelican Brief. I recommended staying on the plane. I recommended the client. Someone recommended Pelican Brief. I said you should get something by James Patterson. Here we are. No questions asked, just like I said, see? Weird. This looks like our neighborhood. And that looks like my house. Yeah, but it's got some fat kid in the window. They found us! We're getting off the island! I know a mechanic who doesn't ask questions. We can get it fixed up and put back before anyone notices. Y you think? Yeah, this guy's the best. Last summer, my uncle hit a deer, and this guy made his car as good as new. For $12. I will do it by Wednesday for $100. You will do it by Tuesday for $75 in a date with my sister. Is she hot? Eh, that's a question. You just broke your own rule. Stood. Is that how I say it? Stood. Why are you still here? If that thing isn't fixed before my dad gets home, he's going to kill me. What? Leslie, I got one. Look at this big man on the floor. Damn. Hey, you got any more of that trail mix left? I told you, get your own damn trail mix. Oh, but I gave you a piece of Orbis gum the other day. You were fine with that. Everything's gone! Steve, it's so hard for me to admit I'm wrong. What are you talking about? This is my fault. No, I mean when you were little and I told you there was nothing you could ever do to make me stop loving you. Son? God, this is ridiculous. We could have walked to Boston by now. Try to relax, honey. Look, Sky Mall has an automatic cat feeder, and an automatic water bowl, and an automatic litter box. Yeah, good news, folks. We've finally been cleared for takeoff. Oh, thank God. Hey, where's little Caitlin? Who? Your daughter. Where is she? I don't know. Somewhere. Why do you care? I couldn't pay my gambling debts. I play high-stakes ball-in-the-cup thing. I bet you $500 I can get the ball in the cup. Okay. Damn! I don't have the money right now, but I can get it. I just need time. Just give me time! I'm proud of you, son. My trust was well placed. I'll be in my study. <laughs> Looks like it's gonna be a guy's weekend for you and me, huh? I was thinking we'd rent crossbows, go to the dog park, see where the day takes us. You! Ah! What did you do? I didn't do anything! Ah! You were in my study! No, I wasn't! Ah! You took the drone! I don't know what you're talking about! What's going on here? Where is she? Where is my little angel? Hold me back, like Sean Penn in Mystic River. Is that my daughter in there? No, no, hold them back. Is that my daughter? No, hold them. Is that my... You're worthless. Let me see your hands. Where's the plane you stole? Oh, that thing? Yeah, we sold it to Tim. He's using it for his parade float. It's the Chinese New Year. Parade float? Idiots, that's a $50 million piece of military hardware! Like a nightclub owner. Anyone in the entertainment industry. Look, I don't care if you're all tired and uncomfortable. We're not going anywhere until we find that little girl. Come on, Stan. The CIA spent years training you for this exact situation. Use that training. Oh! 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 <laughs> Oh! Uh.